welcome back to another session in dentistry and more today we have a small topic in orthodontics that is jackson's triad so it comes in uh, the orthodontic treatment that is the uh, objectives of orthodontic treatment so how we should plan our uh, orthodontic treatment so it was summarized by jackson so before moving to the triad so let's see the normal scenario so when a person he or she goes to a orthodontist mainly for the aesthetic concern so he might be feeling uh, his teeth are more proclined or more protruded or his jaws are more uh, forwardly placed so any such concern mainly the aesthetic concern so that is why the patient goes to the orthodontist for the correction of his problem but on a orthodontist point of view he should be looking not just the aesthetic problem but also the structural balance and functional efficiency so any orthodontic treatment so the main objectives of orthodontic treatment should be based on these three factors that is one is functional efficiency the structural balance and aesthetic harmony so when these three things combined or comes together there will be the perfect result summarize the objectives of orthodontic treatment as functional efficiency structural balance and aesthetic harmony let's see one by one the first one is functional efficiency so functional efficiency it means a person might be feeling because of this malocclusion he might be feeling many problems like uh, in mastication that is chewing uh, in phonetics uh, speak in speaking a few words or he might be having some other problems uh, like uh, proclined teeth people usually have uh, oral breathing so many problems he might be having so the normal functioning is not happening so we need to correct the functional imbalance so the imbalance of the functionality of the oral uh, structure that is it includes the teeth bone and muscles so that is a that should be the first objective of any orthodontic treatment the correcting the functional imbalance so it says that mm, malocclusion which affects normal functioning of the stomatognathic system so we should Mm, always aim at improving the functionality or functioning of the orofacial apparatus so the orofacial apparatus includes teeth bone and musculature musculature means the lip muscles the cheek muscles and other muscles so which, which is present within the oral cavity so there should be a balance of orofacial apparatus that is a functional efficiency the second one is structural balance so it is almost like functional efficiency but it is more at a anatomical level so we have basically three systems in a orofacial region that is the dento alveolar system which is the tooth right we have dento alveolar system then skeletal system which is bone and we have soft tissue these three systems okay so there should be a harmony between these three systems there is a dento alveolar system which is tooth related skeletal is bone related and the soft tissues so these three systems should be at a uh, proper balance so the forces uh, which is transmitted to and against the bone Uh, should be in a balance okay that is a structural balance so there should be a structural balance between these three system that is dental alveolar skeletal and soft tissue and the last one is a aesthetic harmony which we were talking in detail in the beginning so what is the reason many people or most of the people who goes to a orthodontist it is to correct is aesthetics so whatever he feel it is purely subjective 
so the person feels his aesthetics is compromised so he needs to or she needs to improve it to her a desired level so we have common standards so still aesthetic is always a subjective concept or subject okay so we need to improve the aesthetics it could be a tooth related problem or a bone related problem or a soft tissue related problem so we need to improve the aesthetics so that is uh, aesthetic harmony because this is the reason mainly people seek orthodontic care and most of the malocclusions are associated with very unsightly appearance of the teeth and which can uh, which which will affect the individual's self image uh, self esteem well being and success in society so the orthodontic treatment should always aim at improving the aesthetics of individual so these are the three things where the jackson summarized as the objectives of orthodontic treatment that is functional efficiency which is a uh, which indicates the uh, functionality that is arrangement of teeth or the basic function of mastication and other functions should be at a proper balance and the structural balance which includes dental alveolar skeletal and soft tissue there should be a balance between these three or the forces uh, transmitted between these three and the aesthetic harmony which is the main concern of patient so these three includes in the triangle of jackson so that is all about jackson triad it is a commonly asked short note in university exam so i hope you understood the simple concept of the triad so i'll come up with a new topic in orthodontics thank you